Hi, I'm Fran from Ecuriscal, and you're watching The Monday Club. It's Monday, it's 7 p.m., and the Bronx are on parade. It's time for The Monday Club, featuring your host, Jennifer Kirk, with the help of the Covered Monkey, and your host, With the toast top tea toaster and a wizard called Gandalf, featuring the sounds of the Glass Awake Symphony Orchestra and the musical stylings of Gordon the Music Maestro. Let's get ready to loco! Ho ho ho! The Monday Club is proudly sponsored by TMC, The Model Centre. Check them out at themodelcentre.com. The website features extensive stocks of new models as well as selective pre-owned items where you can track down that bargain you've always wanted. Pre-order with confidence all of the forthcoming models from all the manufacturers. TMC also offer a renumbering and renaming service so you can get the exact identity of locomotive that you want. Why also check out their value weathering or go for something incredibly special with their bespoke service where you can choose from a more extensive weathered look right through to custom graffiti either off the peg or to a design of your choice. Check out TMC today at themodelcentre.com and start your model journey. A big hello to you, it's so great to see you and I hope I find you all well. It's Monday, it's 7 o'clock UK time, and that can mean only one thing. The Monday Club! And everybody is invited. This is your online model railway club. And Topsy is here. He's really excited. We've got Gandalf with his head stuck in the biscuit barrel. <laughs> and we've got somewhere on here... Oh, is, oh wait a minute. Where, where, where have they gone? Somewhere on here we have... Wow, the tumble of clowns. And there's the straggler. So a big hello to everybody. We've got New Junction. He didn't even need to be summoned. So My great goodness. to see you. Uh, Chihalis Valley, Mother Rail Productions, Patrick Ling, Jeherick, Mike Lane, TT120, 156, uh, Andrew, 247 Trains, Keith Gooden, Francis Wadsworth, Patrick Ling, uh, Rick Morley, Go For It Painting, uh, Michael Budham Junction, Peter Jackson, Cheadle Heath, Harry Sedgwick, The Growler Blackwood, Engage Layout. Will Tucker, uh, Mike Lane, TT120, Dion Wollaston, Caroline Rogers, Mousehole Rail, Josh, Retro Rambles, uh, Flymo Chairman 1, Dean Fielding, Stefan Svensson, really great to see you, our, um, our Swedish uh, correspondent, uh, Learn with Gem, Hannings Rest Model Railway, uh, Clive Engage, Warbler Productions, Awesome Bricks, H. Walker Steam and Heritage Rail Vids, Name a Gamer, YT, Zantec, Barry, Barry Wenden, Rick Morley, Chris Johnson, uh, Knockers Lane, Mel's, g'day, come and say g'day. Um, uh, you, Phil like? Metcalf, I'm like me, Nick Garolimo, we've got a great turnout. John JMC, our guru of sound, who has, we can now reveal, take it up a new role, as the sound guru at Ellis Clark Trains. Has he so, really? My goodness. Yes. Going up so, in the world. He is, yes. Congratulations. So, uh, well done for that. And that means that the quality sound fitting uh, that you know and love will be coming to... Ellis. Well, they've already got good, uh, good sound fitting and That's stuff. True. But they will have the top man on the job for the top sound. Top man. Yes. Oh, we have a message from 156 Andrew, Shortbread Express. Jenny, it's my birthday this Friday. I'll be 21 again. Oh, how many times have you been 21? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Squash tomatoes and stew. Bread and butter in the gutter. Happy birthday to you. Oh, and thank you so much to Scanman. Very, very generously donated $9.99. It says, Happy Monday from Montana. Bright and clear, with the snow going fast. 
Oh, wow. We, we, we had one day of snow here, and it was pretty pathetic yeah, snow. That's true. I feel slightly jealous, although the reality is when you, you would actually... not have liked it. Yeah, it's like, mm, not sure I'd like the cold too much. I need somewhere warm where I can, I can view the coldness from through protective layers of glass. <laughs> um, uh, Trains UK says, excellent review of your Black Five from Ellis Clark. Absolutely. Um, thank you so much. Um, it was really great to do, actually, and I'm I'm quite overwhelmed with that, how much love there is for that. I suspect a lot of people are really quite keen to see um, how that model turned out because it's yeah. a kind of a uh, a um, forebringer of what the uh, WD two ten O is going to be like. So I think a lot of people are very impressed. Um, so I actually spoke to Ellis uh, yesterday. Uh, met him at the Keithley Model Rail Club show and um, Ellis was there, had a quick chat with him and he said they're a couple of months away from completing tooling. So um, it's all progressing quite nicely. I'm going to go and get you a good, good, good. Yeah, I'd love a cup of coffee. Thank you okay. so much. While we're doing that, yes, Jenny, do we have a sponsor for tonight's show? Yes, we do. Um, TMC, the model sent to your first port of call. For all pre-orders and with extensive stocks, you can always make sure that there is something to tickle your fancy. They've also got extensive second-hand. Get that cherished model that you maybe missed out on the first time round to add to your collection. A big thank you to 156 Andrew Shortbread Express. He's very, very kindly donated £2 on the Super Chances. Actually, I'll be 36 this Friday. I'd like to be 21 again. Uh, you and me both. Um, I've actually, I've been 21 for far more than 21 years, uh, um, which is quite scary, really. Nick at Bletchley High Level says, evening all. That suggests that uh, Gandalf should get his head out of the biscuit barrel. A Monday clobber is never late, Toto Wackens, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Gandalf. Um... Peter Joyce says, I'm going to the Montserrat Model Railway Exhibition this weekend. I must admit, uh, the Montserrat Railway, which is kind of like a little spur off the Great Central Railway, I think it's a fabulous idea, um, restoring that little industrial spur, and it creates a nice contrast to the Great Central Railway. So uh, it's a place I really want to go and visit at some point, but it is quite a distance from here. Uh, Nick Garolamo says, loving the motor rail stop this week. And yeah. And we've got uh, an assortment of um, Oxford Rail cars in there. But tonight, tonight, um, our topic is our small portable ra model railways, the future. And I guess I think a lot of people do aspire to having quite a large layout. But space is very much an issue. And it's interesting that uh, the number of people renting as opposed to owning their own house, certainly in the UK, is on the rise and that basically means that the luxury of doing what i did here which is literally build this into the house this is not designed to come out in any way um i dread to think um how i would go about removing this if i moved i suspect it's like it's like hey thanks for buying my house oh by the way there's a muggle railway in the loft have fun um he's like you don't get any of the stock though and i've stripped all the electrics off and Peeled some of the buildings I really liked off as well. But um, definitely the idea of a small portable layout um, is very, very flexible. It also means that anybody, for example, say a student, um, if you're going to university or college, something like that, or actually let's not forget people in the military often have uh, short term postings, maybe a year here, six months there. Um, it means that if you've got a portable layout, it, you can just take it with you. You can build it with confidence that you're not going to have to rip it all out. And it also does mean that you have the option of taking it to shows. Mel says, here in Australia, I'm going to the Kinnerton Model Show this Saturday. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And DJK666 says, let's not forget that Pete Waterman's epic layout counts as portable. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of... And portable can be as big as you like. Um, and... He has the flexibility of taking that anywhere he wants. It also means um, that you can um, insert extra mod modules. A expanding a portable layout 
is actually a lot easier than expanding a built-in one like this because where you've got baseboard joints, um, if indeed it's a multi ba multiple baseboard thing, you can insert a new board in. And that's kind of what Pete Waterman did. Uh, James Spinks Railway says, I love small outs, so availability with moving. Um, and 1968 Concord says, I've always wanted the Noch Z layout in a case, but very pricey. Yes, absolutely. I re one recently came up at Rails of Sheffield. Um, but yes, it wasn't cheap. Um, Nick Garolamo says, I'm renting at the moment, so I've designed a loft layout to come out when we move. A modular board system of sorts. Yes, and always remember to make sure um, that you can get it out down through your loft hatch. Um, but also, you, weight is a very much a consideration. And there's a lot of great techniques for keeping model layouts really, really strong but um, not very heavy because if it's heavy it just makes it very unwieldy um richard knoll says i'm going to be off to the train and toy fair at crew hc this uh, heritage center crew heritage center this saturday um excellent and russell benton says that tt120 hst looks tasty absolutely we've had the intercity swallow livery one being shown and it does look amazing it's one of my favorite liveries that and regional railways and talking about, um, uh, oh, Iron Horse Railways. Is Iron Horse Railways in? He was round here earlier on today, but he wasn't feeling so great. So was he was supposed to be staying on for uh, be a guest on the Monday Club. He had to go home early. Um, and we're just hoping he's all right. Is, um, if, if he said something, it's gone off the top. Um, so I do hope you got back okay. We didn't hear from you, so we were a bit worried. Um, John Walter says, Jenny, can you please explain your upside down train? I uh, basically, I had, um, two model railways, big discs, and they spun on the carousel. Um, but the bottom layout was kind of a mirror image of the top one. And the idea is the top one had a secret trick up its sleeve. It actually had metal plates. It used a product called DCC Concepts Power Base. Um, and that was underneath the track. Uh, yes, see there, Iron Horse Railway says, wasn't so good today, to be honest. But thanks for asking. Right, so yes, good to see that you got back okay. We were worried about you. You promised you'd let us know you got back safely. Um, but um, the top layer has this metal strip, and it's hidden. You can't see it once it's all ballasted. And the locomotive has magnets on the bottom and it's quite a light locomotive and I did take the lead weight out of the locomotive and what that means is that the locomotive will actually sit sort of stuck to the track but upside down but when you apply the power it will move round and this actually transfixed a lot of people when we took it to Model Rail Scotland a couple of years ago and it was actually quite a simple layout uh, filmed for Hornby and Model World um, sadly, the layout does not exist. It was recycled into two different layouts, one of which was featured in Series 2 of Hornby A Model World. Right. Um, Joe Light Railway says, it's my birthday this month. Um, if it's um, before, do let us know if it's before the next Monday Club. Then we'll sing the song once so he gets back. Um, uh, oh, right. Iron Horse Railway says, I did, but Zoe didn't check her messages. Her phone has a dead battery. Uh, the battery has failed. Uh, Lynn Tree Town New Double O Gauge Model Railway. Good evening to you. It is great to see you. And I hope, hope find you well. We've got Busby Junction says, evening all. Sorry I'm late. Hope all well. Ooh, a degree of lateness. Never late, Toto Wagons. Hey. A Monday clobber is never late, I have no late, idea Toto why he stops. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. New Western Grove says, I decided to pre-order that OO gauge prototype HST with sound quite pricey, but I've wanted one for half a decade now. It comes near my birthday as well. Score. Um... Uh, I'm just just seeing, making sure. Oh, yeah, Santex is see the TARDIS. Yes, it is over there at the back. Um, so 
Let's see. Do I come on? Oh yes! It means I don't have to walk around and get the mouse where the monkey has hidden it. Um James Seeper says, How long would I have to wait for a re-release of the Graham Farish Backman 3F Ginty? Um, I'll be honest with you, um, unclear. They may do another run in the next quarter. And that's one of the beauties of the new Backman announcement system is that um, they are only announcing new models, uh, including reruns, when they're three months or less away from the shops. So you, chances are you won't get a huge amount of notice. Uh, but just keep an eye out. Patrick Ling says, what's in the news, Jenny? Well, we've had a whole slew of new Rapido wagons. I've just filmed the review, actually. So on the top layer running round behind the 15XX uh, pannier tank um, are five different Rapido wagons, plus a Rapido brake van, but that's not part of the new releases. And these are two different diagrams of open wagons, uh, both GWR5 plank. One is vacuum fitted, one is unfitted, and three different diagrams of ostensibly the Mink A, but one of them is the Banana Van variant. Um, they are now in the shops, all versions, and they are superb wagons. So at some point you'll see a sort of, um, if I, there, above my head, that line that's above my head, um, you will see it sort of chug up there in a moment. A really lovely uh, wagon. Oh, the TARDIS has been spotted again. Yes, um, there is a TARDIS by the signal box. Well done, everybody. Sharpen the pencils. Go to the top of the class. Um, so, uh, the few latecomers here. Sue at Putnam Junction says, hello, everybody. Um, lateness is uh, implied. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Um, yeah, um, so Iron Horse Railways and I were at the Keithley Model Railway uh, show on Sunday and there were some amazing layouts there. In fact, a lot of O-gauge layouts and um, Iron Horse and I were opining that um, actually a small O-gauge layout is actually quite a proposition. Um, so um, definitely, definitely... Um, an idea, if you want a small portable layout, O-Gage is definitely a possibility. Big hello to Great Eastern Model Railways. Um, that's your friendly shop in Norwich. Um, great to see you. I hope you're well. And they say the Rapido Banana Wagons really are great and arrived in shops at the end of last week. Yes, but uh, as I said before, just done a, um, a review I love the banana wagon and the subtle differences between the different diagrams. And this is what I love about Rapido. They could have easily just done a generic Mink A and gone for one different set of rain strips and at most had maybe with and without vacuum brakes, but it wouldn't have covered all of the diagrams. Instead, Rapido make their tooling so that they can do a whole variety of subtly different versions of the wagons. So we've actually got five different wagons, which most other manufacturers would have probably only released as two different wagons. And I like that because it means we get a great deal of choice um, for ready to run choice. And they, they're very, very distinctive vans, it must be said quite different from any of the other vans that are on the market, either from Oxford Rail with their Great Eastern vans or um, Backman with their assortment of different vans. These are quite distinctive and give some great variety to your fleet. And of course, during big four days, and actually before that as well, in pre-grouping days, a lot of wagons would have worked off their home system uh, delivering loads around the country. It wasn't unusual to find different uh, railway company uh, ownership of wagons in a single train. Um, and essentially, only the locomotive and brake van generally belonged to the railway on whose metals they are trundling along. So you could well imagine these GWR um, uh, wagons getting all over the rail network, whether you model pre-grouping or Big Four, and certainly by BR days as well, they would have, I guess, just gone into a common pool and ended up all sort uh, uh, everywhere. Um, 
Hanning's rest model railway says Gandalf is never late. He arrives precisely when he means to. Absolutely. Um, awesome Bricks asks, do they do a Hartlepool banana van? Um, I don't know how they're different. Uh, these are GWR ones. So they would have worked from Avonmouth docks. So there would have been block trains and they would probably have run um, to places outside of the GWR system. I'm guessing that the block trains for bananas, a lot of would have gone to London, um, but also up to Manchester, Birmingham, um, places like that, and to some of the smaller cities as well. Um, ben Tullett says most of those GWR wagons reside in the yard at Bewdley Station at the Seven Valley Railway. Um, Joe Light Railways is ha uh, happy there are opportunities to buy the Andrew Barclays and P-Class tanks. Absolutely. And um, these we, we're seeing thick and fast livery samples coming from Acura Scale, who are now handling uh, those and really, really looking forward to these coming through. I don't think they're far out either. Certainly the war flats, sorry, war wells are, I think they're a um, new junction is in somewhere. So we might be able to confirm or indeed deny whether the uh, war wells, uh, where, where they're actually uh, running to. DJK666 says GWR milk tank has definitely ran onto the southern. Um, banana trains for fives also ran from Barry Dock, says David Scott. Wardle restorations, great to see you. I hope I find you well. Some degree of lateness is implied. A Monday clobber is never late, Toto Wackens, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Uh, Iron Horse Railway says, have to be honest, there's definitely some O-gauge in my future. And it's this is the thing, is that there's some... The thing about O-gauge, and, and this is... Uh, Iron Horse and I were talking about this at the show, because there was some actually, some relatively small, but very interesting O-gauge layouts there. And uh, we are going to be producing a video. I did do a lot of filming, so there's um, a video coming through. And if you're a patron of the channel or a channel member as well, we're going to be giving you um, early, early access to these. In terms of everybody else, the, um, the video of the show, it might not actually go public for about three weeks or so. But if you're a patron or you're a, a channel member then we're hoping you'll get access to that um, by the end of this week as part of the unique perks of being a patron and a channel member. So one to watch out. Doggett's Mother Railway says, my third O-Gage wagon arrived today. There's some lovely ready-to-run wagons actually in O-Gage. Um, and uh, one of the things I actually find, I talked with one of the layout operators in O-Gage about this. With O-Gage, you very much don't need a huge amount to have a really great layout running experience. What I find with double O and I guess N gauge, it happens as well, is there's these sort of like need more, need more, lots, lots, lots. And I don't get that with O gauge. It's a much more economical scale. And some of these small layouts really were superb. Uh, and of course, being a small layout, even though it's O gauge, you can move it around. Um, and um, one of the other things, the really great things you can do with a portable layout is you can take it outdoors. And you think, well, why would I want to take it outdoors? Well, photographing and videoing your layout in natural light is incredible. You'd be amazed how good those results look. Not so salty sea dogs as rails keep sending me emails about the Daypole Terrier for 125 squids in O gauge, suddenly it's very tempting. Absolutely, we do now know where all those O gauge terriers from Hattons went. Uh, James Spinks Railways asks, Monday Club Wagon update, as I cannot wait. Soon, my friends, soon. Yes, what's that, Topsy? Yes, Topsy says, soon. Um, they are, I'm told they're in transit. We have shared the picture of the, I think it's an actual production sample. We don't have a production sample here, so I can't physically hold it and lick it and all the sort of good stuff. But um, definitely, I'm told, a couple of weeks. In terms of sales, as far as I'm aware, there are still around 15 or so left to order. There's not many left at all. It's sold um, surprisingly well, actually. It's based on the Rapido. 
1907 railway clearing house design and uh, these are actually coming through the not quite titfield thunderbolt set does include at least one of them um so um they are coming i was told probably about two weeks ago that they were in transit i'm not sure how many weeks it takes to transit from china in a shipping container um but i'm expecting like within week two weeks um so uh, let's see what happens but they are very very close and like i said there's approximately 15 or so left that can be ordered and they have sold incredibly well we do have a link in the description box underneath the video if you still want to grab that and flamo chairman one has done the honors and has shared that anoya ariti has also spotted the tardis near the single box yes it, it and you guys have got like super sharp eyes. I'm sure you're watching this on like 80 inches of plasma uh, and just like zooming in. What's that? What's that? Oh, look, it's blue. Is that the TARDIS? Is that the TARDIS? Well, you'd be pleased to know that the Garden Railway build will have its own TARDIS. This is an O gauge TARDIS, and this is going in the garden on the Garden Railway. Um, so. Uh, I've got no I've got another update that is completely filmed. I need to edit it. Um, that will be coming in maybe two two weeks, something like that, as a Friday video. Um, so there is more update on the Garden Railway. And yeah, DJK Triple Six. Uh, remember that ships are going a longer route from China due to the Red Sea situation, so it might take a tad longer. Absolutely. Alan Reynolds at Buckland Junction. Great to see you. I hope I find you well. Degree of lateness, which you have revealed by not realising that Zoe was here earlier. You get a bit of Gandalf. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Yes, Zoe is here. She's just off making some coffees. Um, all, yeah, Warden Res... Did you? What's wrong? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Um, uh, Narcus Lane has put a flashing light in the tunnels. It's got to be durable because it's going outdoors in all weathers. Uh, Jacob's Trains asks, are we doing videos tonight, Jenny? Yes, we're doing a bumper crop of videos, trying to get up to date. So the idea is that from about 8 o'clock, we will be showing your videos, like, not just Jacob's Trains, but um, the people who sent in videos and pictures, we will be going through those. Um... Zantex says, I'm watching it on a 21 inch monitor. I had to look really close for the other one by the factory. Um, Iron Horse Railway says, Spent an hour in the Garden Railway yesterday with Gen 2 doing the O gauge shunting thing. Great fun. Absolutely. And we're still waiting for New Junction to come and visit. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You do get a good feed when you come here, it must be said. But yeah, come on, New Junction. Come and visit, play with the Garden Railway. Come on, the Monday Club. Um, I think <laughs> I just a bit shared and sh scared, shared, sh scared and shy. Um, right. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk pressing the button. Am I gonna have to? Oh no, it did come up. So there we go. Um, <laughs> uh, Cameron Patterson said, "Mr. Flymo, sorry I missed you at Model Rail Scotland. We're going to Perth. Hope to see you at the show." Uh, Torrent6666, hello everyone, big hello to you, great to see you, hope I find you well. A degree of lateness implied, therefore Gandalf has roused himself from the biscuit barrel of joy. A Monday clobber is never late, Toto Wackens, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks Gandalf. The Scanman uh, says shipping from China to the west coast of USA is about eight to ten weeks, including customs and truck transport delays. So yeah, I mean that's the thing. Once the container gets into Felixstowe, it still has a lot of um, travelling and stuff to do as well. Great Eastern Model Railway says O gauge railway modelling is extremely popular here in Norwich. Absolutely, there's some great models from particularly Daypol, and I think what a lot of people have come to realise is that with O-Gage it has a great presence, but you also get an awful lot for your money, and with the way that prices have gone with double O models, um, something like a, uh, a Daypol Terrier or a Ginty or even a Gronk, an 08, 
they're not that much more expensive than say a double O gauge tender loco but the beauty of O gauge is that you don't feel that need to like I must buy loads of stuff you can be much more economical and I think the focus when you build certainly a small O gauge layout is you start to focus hyper focus on the detail because you can see a lot of detail and I've seen some great results with people using stuff like um, individual uh, track components as scenic parts like piles of discarded track uh, components in the forefoot you can have um, much more interest in terms of uh, the, the bits and pieces which in smaller scales tend to get overlooked there's also some great new kits coming through Daypol have launched their kit master range of laser cut card and they're actually pre-coloured, which means that they are ridiculously easy to, to build and finish without needing any, uh, any kind of um, painting skills or anything. Uh, Learn with Gem, uh, sorry, Learn with, with Gem says, um, oh, uh, says, uh, what gauge? Uh, asking somebody else. James Seeper says, how big is your loft layout? It's fab. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I think it's about 20 feet by... 16 something like that uh, and Richard Bond says oh gauge terrier 125 pounds new just bear in mind that that's a plain black one so um, I'm I think the idea behind that is you put your own fictitious livery onto it um, but so I mean to be honest the terrier I'm sure Great Eastern models can let us know but um, the Daypole terriers aren't desperately expensive in the first instance um, and there's some beautiful liveries. Um, my personal favourites, um, I've actually got um, 2644 in southern, uh, like a, a Mansell Green. And that's a lovely model. I've also got the London and South Western Railway Green one. Absolutely adorable. But I love the improved engine green, the, the ochre coloured ones. I think that um, Daypol have actually done surprisingly more in O-gauge in that livery than they've done in double O with rails. Um, so some of the more interesting ones, I think Thames, uh, one of the terriers was called Thames, and they've done that in the um, the ochre livery, um, which sadly I missed. I must look out for it. Knockers Lanes has just had a look through one of my large model boxes, found 10 O-gauge wagons I made 15 years ago, Parkside Dundas kits. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Um, uh, Jacob's Train says, Gronk Brake Van Ride. Boo-hoo. Uh, Phil Metcalf says it's been 10 days so far for a game from Norwich to Darlington. And Let's Make Tracks TT120 says evening all. A degree of lateness implied, hey, I think. Monday Clover is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. Um, yeah, uh, Trains Kits, etc. says Hatton's really missed a trick on not offering the Barclay and O gauge. And yet, the Daypole uh, B4, they initially brought that out in double O and then brought it out in O gauge. And that is a superb model in both scales. And there's some great um, prices actually. The double O gauge one, um, some really, really amazing liveries, some of those London and South Western Railway liveries. Um, but not actually desperately expensive either and that is the good thing about it aaronville says hello sorry i'm late degree of lateness implied a monday club over is never late total wagons nor are they early they arrive precisely when they mean no thanks gandalf you sound very very tired gandalf like I you've been, been straining i have been partaking of the halfling leaf i thought you were downstairs carrot catching up with some paperwork oh uh, Great Eastern Model Railway says normal price for a Daple O gauge terrier is around the two hundred pound price point. Lovely selection and a great introduction into O gauge. I couldn't agree more. And there's a great range of wagons as well that Daple do that don't break the bank. And I'll be honest with you, when Daple brought out their O gauge models, they really, really made O gauge so so accessible. Up until that point, you have to be really good at building kits. And the th I always say about building kits, building it is only half of the journey. You still have to paint and finish it. And I've seen so many kits that have been incredibly uh, competently built, 
be incompetently painted to the point where they just look hideous. Hey, I said sorry. <laughs> it wasn't you. It's a joke, Jen. You know there's a card reader in the front You know of I can't it. actually access it. Why not? Because I can't work out which way to put it in. Oh, dear. Well, you can't... You just gently try it one way up, and when it doesn't fit, you no, put it in the... No, it's like USB. Wrong. 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 Yeah. Correct. David J says, Hi Jenny, loved your two latest reviews. The Ellis Clark Trans Black 5 looks awesome. Tempted, but not yet. But certainly, for those people who are a double O model, the WD210 from Ellis Clark Trans... Um, I was talking to Ellis yesterday about this. And he and said, he's... how did you get in my house? Yeah, he, he said, so what are you doing? Who let you in through the front door? No, this was at the Keith Lee show. And um, it promises to be that kind of standard of model. It's going to be a really impressive uh, thing. What, what are you actually looking for? The latest things that I've produced. Because oh, right. we're going to talk about the uh, thing from today, aren't we? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yes. So, the, topic. The, um, um, the Cupboard Monkey of Joy has some pictures to show because there's a new project afoot and this is all part of making portable model railways the future. Not just portable model railways, but the Monday Club is your model railway club. Mm -hmm. Model railway clubs have a layout. So, what we want to do is, um, you can buy box files from so many different places, they're quite cheap, um, quite surprisingly durable as well. Yes. Um, so, uh, the, the idea is we, we're going to give some kind of rough specifications for where the track goes to the edge, and then invite people to just make their own box file layouts in N-Gage and then when we have meetups it may be possible to just like people bring these things, join them all together and we have like one huge model railway and yeah. that's another thing you can do with a portable layout, the idea of modular layouts, um, huge in America a lot of clubs do this but it seems to be an overlooked thing in the UK and yes. that's something that we want to um, actually try and do something that we can involve lots of people with so um, what are we actually waiting I'm for? I'm waiting for it to load in the images uh, Iron Horse Rose says I was at Keithley uh, yes you were you were stood next to me most of the time so um, what we're gonna do if you want to make that full size let's go and that is the hideously loud noise sorry you just I heard. didn't realize uh, was the monkey opening a can of Pepsi to the max a so what pass so, this is what Iron Horse and I put together today. Mm -hmm. It's a standard box file, standard A4 box file for holding A4 papers and stuff like that. What we've done, you can see here, I've put a an end gauge tunnel mouth on there. Yep. And there will be one on the other end. Whatever you want to put to decorate yours is perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. However, what I've got here is uh, a tunnel mouth. What we've done is we've cut a hole in both ends. Mm -hmm. Where's the next button on this? And yeah, B Mozzle, we were thinking about that. So, um, if you use a link span between the box files, the track can be anywhere. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to say. So, we're, we're going to go a rough I don't know why it hasn't um, given me all of them. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, well, you've, you've messed So, this hasn't worked what I wanted it to do. There it is. There's the button. Yeah, we, we were wondering. Yeah. So, so here's an uh, idea. We've cut an end off. Uh, we've cut part of an end off and part of the other end off. We're going to have as a way of these replacement speakers. What? Um, possibly when you opened the thing. Possibly. So we're going to have one through line. We were considering two, but to allow for a little movement in case people don't align quite the same way that we have. We want a bit of movement, so we're only going to have the one. A main line and then you decorate the rest of the box how you want yeah and the idea is that we'll then have uh, small spacer rails on mm. either side I'll, we'll bring that's them... what B Moz is saying there using a link yeah. span between the box files so the track exactly. can be anywhere and actually that makes it a lot more flexible yeah um, somebody said that uh, Leslie Gilpin railway says how about the Cato engage mini modules you try building a couple of those need to then, finish them yes I've built a few and they're really nice Mm. However, I don't think they'll do what we want for this project. They're very nice, but I don't think it'll work quite as well as I would like. Kato actually have on their stands at some of the shows where people can bring the modules that they've built 
and they put them all together and actually have a train running around. Well, it's actually quite a large layout, but yeah, it's made of lots and lots of these little modules. And they're absolutely brilliant. I think, you know, it shows just how small a model you can have and it be and portable. Hmm. But the idea for this is portability and safe storage. Yes, because Which when... is why we went for box files. Because you, you can just shut it. the lid on it and it's, exactly. it keeps the dust out and uh, protects everything. Evan Terry says, my model railway club has done a layout like this. Yeah, it's a great idea. You can take it with you wherever you go. Mm. You've got a little uh, layout. I've, I've put mine as a shunting puzzle. The idea is that we'll we'll bring little uh, linker rails between them for when we go to shows. Yeah, we'll and just then have... people who turn up, you can put a box file on the end, and we'll All have we need different is a, things. It's a box of pre-cut flexi pieces of track. Yeah, that's the idea. So we've got use the Fleischmann joiners. Yeah, something like that. Mm. So I love this idea. We've got a lot of personality in here. Obviously, I've just stuck a load of random bits in that from mm -hmm. my collection. To show the idea. Oh, and Iron Horse suggested that I save all the sawdust to use on the layout at a later date, and I think that's a great idea. So I've got mm. a packet filled here with uh, the dust from uh, cutting through the side. This is where we've got the uh, got the uh, the dimensions. So it's a standard twenty four point five cm mm. by thirty seven cm box file. We have the rail going through the middle. So at 8.5 centimetres, you have a cut, and at 7.5 centimetres in from the other side, you have a cut. Mm. Same on the other side. And the middle of the rail for the centre is at 10.5 centimetres in. Mm. So there you go. So it's not oh. quite centred, but we've it's got, pretty good. We've got some latecomers coming in. Krista Duke, Maura Curran, uh, Cameron Patterson, possibly, but no, definitely Krista Duke. Um, so is, is Gandalf going to, like... Swallow that biscuit any time soon. A Monday clubber is never late oh, to the wagon. Nor are bits. they early. Oh. They arrive precisely when they mean Topsy, to. Topsy, protect me. Woohoo! Shields up. <laughs> What's uh, a box file? A, a box file is a a folder that you can stuff paperwork and things into. And it's just a box. And you just slide it onto a shelf. It's an easy way of yeah. storing paperwork. But you can repurpose it for making your model out. <laughs> And as an idea for people, um, 009, an N-gauge track, is kind of interchangeable. So yeah. if you wanted to, you could also consider doing an 009-themed box file as part of this modular layout, mm -hmm. because N-gauge trains will run through it just fine. 009 will run through the others just fine. So, um, you know, if you're not really into N-gauge, then 009 is also a possibility. Of course, you will get Ooh. less... We have a tumble of clowns in. <laughs> the only thing to remember, and this is the reason why we went for Engage for this project. Mm -hmm. We went for Engage for the project for a, a reason. Your ability to have scenery is greater in Engage because it's yeah. smaller. The and smaller I think scale. if you tried doing it in Double O, um, you wouldn't get much in the box file. Yeah. So but we that's think... the idea for this project. Mm. And hey. If you don't want to bring it to a, a model railway event and join it up, you don't have to. But you can still take part by building one, yeah. and then you'll have part of this collective Monday Club box And there's nothing layout. stopping people. I mean, this is something else. A big hello to Dundee Road. <laughs> Great to see you. I hope you are well as well. Um, but um, there's nothing stopping you from actually having multiple box files in your collection. Yeah. So um, they also provide a great opportunity to try different styles, different locations, without having to figure out a way of joining them all up. And one of the things you can do, which is really, really interesting, is let's say you've got an interest in a US outline. You could have a US-themed Engage box file. Like I did. You could have an 009 uh, Dinoric Quarry themed box file, yeah. and you join them together. You could have another one that's like a little GWR branch line type thing. And all of these, you can have a completely different modeling project in each box file. And when you're all done, as long as you, as long as you, you glue the ballast down nicely, you can actually put them on a bookcase, and they'll just look like book, um, like like box files on a bookcase. Mm. So there's so much possibilities with this. It's it's a great idea. It's like you can change your layout to what you fancy at the mm. time. And it's interesting one there. Don gets model railway says the best box file yeah. layout I have seen was in O gauge. 
the inside of the lid was actually the surface of a loading dock. I love Although, that. Do bear in mind that you don't get much mileage with O gauge in a box. I have Not seen it done. But again, you can stick several together like we've just done. Yeah, I have seen it done, but um, it tends to be more of a diorama than um, there's a, nothing a wrong, layout. There's nothing wrong with those either. Those suitcase uh, layouts that I see at a lot of shows these days are pretty much a diorama. Mm. Because, because on the sides of the suitcase, there's not usually a hole in them to stick it to something else. Yeah, Iron Horse really Rail cool is idea. absolutely, you could even have six or seven box file layouts at home, and that can be your layout, and they stack away on a shelf. I plan to do a little bit of that. And Jen, you've decided to join this project as yeah, well. Yeah, but actually, I might, be, I might do mine as 009, you know. Um, that's what you want to do. Um, I, I, I think Project 009 Part 2 needs to be done. Um <laughs> Uh, Tanith Velaka. I've got to look up has, what uh, uh, says box file everyone... is in Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Browler Blackwood Engage Lance says, Good idea, Zoe. The OO Brigade can try their hand at N. Might change perceptions some people have. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, when I got back into railway modelling, uh, probably in about 2001, 2002, N Gage was still very crude and almost toy like. People used to talk about pizza cutter wheels, and you still had um, the Graham Farish Gronk with uh, inside frames, which I think was the same chassis as their J94 and their Jinty. Um, and it was still, it was like stuck in what we'd had in Double O back in the 70s and 80s. Things have moved on massively since then, and now uh, N Gage is amazing quality. Uh, and I love N Gage, it's great. Mm. I love tiny stuff. Uh, Nick Garolimo, 009, a good idea to include. Absolutely, I think a little 009 thing. You could imagine, um, you could build into your box file the idea of a little bit of um, a 009 um, quarry layout that you could use something like a quarry hunslet or even a mainline hunslet on uh, with lots of slate workings. You could have little lines that disappear into kind of little uh, level workings. Um, and all sorts. So what is this? So, um, box file railway station in Welsh would be Gosaf Railfyth Fail Bluch 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 Just get it, get it to say it. You can make okay. it say it. Let's have a look. Let me just turn the volume up a bit. So, okay. Gosaf Railfyth Fail Bluch yeah, oh, yeah that... I like that. Rick Morley says, I've got some HOE German outline stuff gathering dust. A box file scene would be perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. And Knockers Lane, that is correct. T-scale in a box file is actually a full-on layout. So you could have your entire layout inside the box file, and it just whizzes round, and it's self-contained. Yeah. So there's a lot you can do with a box file. I would really... love to see a T-scale box file. That'd be so cool. Yeah, yeah. What what's in here? An entire universe. Yeah, so I have an entire world. <laughs> and over there is another one. <laughs> mm. I love the idea. I really think this project's gonna be good. Jen, where are my uh, where did those magazines and my uh, little booklet on uh, like, I don't know, I'm not I'm not, I'm not You stopped. said you'd found them. No, I said they might be up here. I don't well know. that just stinks. Uh, Locomotion Lotion says, hold on, the track width on 009 might be the same as N-Gage, but I'm pretty sure the track height depth is different. I'm not sure you can interchange them across joints like that, but if you're using bridging pieces, you can, because it will take up minor differences in height quite well. Yeah. Um, I have a feeling, actually, down here on my programming track, I've got 009. I think 009, um, with, uh, it, which is code 80, is compatible with code 80 N-Gage, but that you, is what we're you planning to wouldn't use be able to use code 55 N-Gage mm. unless you use some kind of converter. H. Walker Steam and Heritage Rail Vid says, OK, Jenny, I better be going now. Look, you take great Thank care. Thank you for coming along. It's been Have a absolutely night. amazing having your company, and I hope to see you next week. Don't forget, everybody, to tickle that like button, share this video to social media, and subscribe if you've not already done so. Ring the notification bell to be the first to know about new videos as and when they come. And yes, trains, kits, etc. There was a T-scale fourth bridge layer. And oh my yeah, goodness. That was actually quite an amazing... I remember seeing that. 
And you could use, it was like a shuttle, it was shuttled backwards and forwards. I bet that was quite something to see. And it was still quite big, yeah, but in T scale, you could actually model the entire fourth bridge. Um, wow. Tanith Velika says, okay, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, this is, um, there's definitely a lot of scope in this. And uh, although we're kind of suggesting that the, the, uh, the Monday Club community layout would be engage in this case just to maximize what you can get in the box file and um, we are suggesting that hoe and 009 are still definitely options and also um as an uh, you know if you want to include double o then tilling do some dual gauge tracks so you could always lay across your box file out with dual gauge track um, and dual gauge point work mm. and make some really quite interesting scenes that you can shuffle double O gauge stuff about on but still have access to run the smaller trains through. So you could have bring your child to work day on your layout mm. <laughs> with a gronk going past and a little baby gronk going after it. Mm. Like, daddy, daddy, right off. You could do. So there's a lot of different <laughs> options um, and um, I think that it really does open the door on some interesting modelling. A box mm. file isn't necessarily a huge space. It's not really a huge space. So you don't need to spend a lot on it. So it's great for people on a limited budget. It's great for people who want to try maybe modelling a completely different scene. They don't want to build a full layout on. But, you know, I'd quite like to try American themed. Um, I do yeah. love the idea of doing that. Um, I also like the idea of doing 009. So that is some of our ideas for portable layouts being the future yeah. of models. But uh, we're coming up on eight, and our plan is to clear some of the backlog of uh, your videos and pictures. And uh, we do feel a bit guilty that we haven't been able to show you um, all of them each time. So uh, we are going to try and work through that. Uh, DC, C, or DC? Well, that would depend on the day. Um, I think we could set think, up to use either. I think the secret is, if you wire your layout to um, to have a terminal that you can just plug into, then it can be run either as DC or DCC on the day. It doesn't mm. actually matter. Um, you know, you're not going to get a lot of complex stuff into a box file. So, actually, if you wire it up with all tracks live, or even you can put an isolating section in. Isolating sections work equally well on DCC if you want to park trains that are isolated from the main system. You can do that, and that would mean if your layout is DCC when you're at home, you can have your DCC fitted loco sat on the siding, and by flicking the um, uh, isolating switch, you can isolate that so DC trains can pass through. Yeah. So uh, we've just been asked, uh, one, one of the things to say, that they said is, uh, is the tunnel in the box file the box tunnel? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. That is cool. So, yeah, I, I just decided to stick a tunnel at the end because I, there's a gap. And yeah. I thought it would be nice to fill that gap with some tunnel miles. Because I happen to have some engaged tunnel miles. And actually the tunnels make a nice way of kind of um, saying, well, th this is the point at which, um, you know, the layout ends neatly mm. without just having a massive But hole. what you decide to do is, uh, of course, up to you. Mm. Because your section of the layout is yours. Billy's replacement speakers, <laughs> which you can find in the merch store down below. Yes. There we are, segway that really, really nice. I, I just like the I just really like the idea. Mm. Yeah, Iron Horse says you'd need a box file, some track and scenic stuff as a minimum. You don't need any rolling stock to take part. You absolutely can just provide a scenic section. That is true. So anyone who's normally double O or O gauge or anything like that mm. just wants to join in. You don't need to uh, invest in rolling stock, you don't need a train. It's because you turn up at the yeah. whatever group that we're at uh -huh. and a train will run through that's it so you don't have to invest huge amounts of money um yeah. in that you can you can uh, take part yeah because making the model is it's about the, the modeling fun i love the modeling mm. take uh, care dion thank you so much for coming along have a great night absolutely you take great care of yourself 
Now, um, somebody did ask, um, let's just, oh, somebody asked what's running. Yes, what is running tonight? What's then? on the tracks as Mike then TT120? Right, we have got D5054, class 24, that's actually the preserved one, on a very long green train, mostly Mark 1s, but whilst I was at Keithley, I actually picked up from Frising Hall Model Rail um, uh, uh, shop, uh, a Mark II, a Backman Mark II in Southern Region Green, mint in box. I also I got see from the elusive uh, Regional Railways Mark I Second Open for 20 quid, and it was still sealed in the box. See uh, Inside, the plastic insert, the Backman used to put a piece of tape around the flap, which you had to break the tape to get the model out. The tape was still sealed. I couldn't believe my luck for 20 quid. It was an absolute bargain. Twenty diddlies, and then you opened it. Yeah, absolute bargain. The box looked like it was brand new, just left the factory. It was and really. You opened it. You I did, yes, this. yes, I did. Um, but also, great news on the model rail shop front. There's an all new model rail shop opened up um, up near Padiham, uh, just sort of near, um, uh, excuse me, just near uh, Burnley. Burnley, Blackburn, Burnley. I don't yeah, know. Burnley. Why are you looking at me? Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Just near Burnley. Um, so I don't have the paperwork with me. The paperwork's all far, far away downstairs. But I have to say that it was really great to meet the guys at the Keithley Model Rail Club. Um, if anybody knows who they were, Iron Horse Railways, looking at you, you were there. But um, I can't remember what the shop was right called, there, but it was a brand new model shop, and um, I'd like to say, you know, if you're in the area, well worth a visit. They've got a bricks and mortar shop. They do do the shows as well, um, and it's just great to hear of brand new model shops opening up. Would you, while I'm reading out this, uh, yeah, you you one, read the could chat. Could you get the other end? You want stuff the out? engage? Yes. Ladies, when are we getting a weird yard Gronk Gala? Says let's make train, make, make tracks. <laughs> we do um, need to do that. I we don't... should definitely do that reasonably soon. I think that would be great. Yeah. Oh, are you okay? No, the flappers broke. Oh no! Did you break? And you've broken it. You, you broke it. You bought it. I need glue. <laughs> okay. I need uh, super glue. Do we have super glue? I will. Uh, yeah, somewhere. I'll get it in a minute. Uh, mm. Knockers Lane says he's too busy making a three-tier London Underground diorama to make Ooh. a uh, box file. But well, that sounds pretty Three, good. So you're going to have basically like um, you'll have uh, the deep lines, the um, slightly higher lines, and then the surface lines. That sounds amazing. Or maybe deep lines, surface lines, and then street level. That'd be nice. Yeah. Learn well, with Gem. I don't know. I don't have any of the paper. They gave me a flyer and like a Muppet. It's somewhere else, so I haven't got it to hand. Uh, Model Railways at the Risky Fishery was the name, says Iron Horse. So there we Iron are. Iron Horse, by the way... Uh, Iron Hoss was around earlier, and he loved my American uh, locomotive, the Hustle Muscle. Well, look at the size of this one, Amtrak. <laughs> it's uh, enormous. And that way you got and that's that, only actually, one bit of it. You <laughs> got that through the generosity of Tim Krinsky. We did. Tim Krinsky, thank Tim you Krinsky so much. Tim Krinsky sent I need to send him his... Uh, yes, you do. His very tears much. Stuff, yes. Uh, Knockers Lane says, just tested the Lima loco, just converted to dead rail during the show. Oh, excellent. Wow. Yeah, Zantec, dying my my bottom, absolutely. Um, James Spinks Railway says Rocket Railways is shut. I live near the old shop. Oh no, that's a shame. Yeah, I, that, I'm, that I'm not sure what happened. It just, um, I could only assume that uh, maybe there was uh, family illness or something because that happened very suddenly. Very um, suddenly. But Model Railways at the Risky Fishery. Do look them up if you're in the area. It's near Padaham, which is uh, just north of Burnley. Do go and check them out. Um, you okay? Yeah. Um, you forgot. Rising <laughs> Fishery. Rising Fishery. Padham Model Shop not yet listed on Google. Um, I think Flyma Chen one may have just posted a link there for details. So nice. ah, and Zantex says I think it was health related. Oh. That is really, really sorry to hear. Yeah, that that's that's unfortunate. Mm. You you can't ever predict that either. It's just oh, um, and unfortunately, it it's one of those things that you know health issues can strike at any time. Yes. Um, and you know you you've got to look after yourself, but you know sometimes it happens. So, I'm uh, really sorry to hear that, and I do hope that things sort out for them. 
Right, we're going to be turning over now to showing some of your videos and <laughs> your layout <laughs> progress. <laughs> um, I don't remember this segment <laughs> having some kind of uh, musical interlude. Do you, do you not? Do you actually have super glue? Uh, it's downstairs somewhere. Isn't it? Yeah, and I'll answer. repair that class 20. Thank you. It's a lovely class 20, apart from the buffer fell off. Um, it's, it's one of my favourites. Yeah, lovely, lovely livery. Again, this was was this Tim Krinsky as well? I'm not entirely sure. I think this was Tim Krinsky, but if, well if it wasn't, then do correct us, because we're, we're Muppets. But lovely, lovely <laughs> model. I <laughs> um, <laughs> need to get that <laughs> fixed. Uh, Super glue will fix that buffer. Okay, um, there's, a, there's one that I'm going to jump to the top of the queue. Because uh, I need to see it. Oh, what? Yes. So. Hello from Vietnam's Hanoi Train Street. Oh, wow. Yes. This is from Joe Gaskin who says, For anyone interested in railways, I'm glad I only have double O gauge running this close. Okay, we need oh, to see this. this is... Is this where... Um... Oh. Wait, is this their video? This isn't their video, though. Uh, this isn't their video. Um, I need to see it. We've already played some of the sound now. So, if you would be so kind. Mm -hmm. And the, the, these places do exist. It's quite, kind of scary, isn't it? Now, I thought when we were on the Festinio that it went quite close to people's gardens. But this has taken the biscuit. In Dude. fact, someone leaning out of that train could take their biscuits. Oh, could you just imagine? Somebody opens the window and goes along with the hand outstretched, and they just go down. It'd be like the Three Stooges. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, I, I, how long is this train? I don't, I don't. Maybe health and safety isn't a thing. Yeah, <laughs> is, is, you'd be. I find that quite scary. Oh my goodness. Mm, really quite scary. So anyway, yeah. look, I, I'm mindful. It, it, I don't think that's their video. So well, just, not, but... just check check the um, view has come up on the yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fine right so what yeah that oh that oh that's better um, I'll just sit that there and put that there right so, no worries so I'm now going to load up the Monday Club that was just oof. yeah I've seen the train pass through Bangkok Market that's quite a famous video actually yeah, I'm going to share the video now as well. Uh, Iron Horse Railways just uh, reminds us that the the new model shop apparently they've only been up and running a few weeks. They're closed on Mondays. Yeah, so that was um, wow. <laughs> I, I kind of want to go there as a dare, just to sit there and see how long it takes for me to go. Nope, can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> and nope. Run away. <laughs> nope, I'm off. I'm catching a train. <laughs> Yes, yeah, camera. Uh, I'm afraid to dash, but my yeah. coat's got caught. Ah. Yeah. yeah, don't wear yeah. any flappy <laughs> clothes around there. Cameron Patterson says, Good night, all from Glasgow, and good night to you, Mr. Flymo, Mr. Hamshack, and Peter J, and Charlie at Paddock Hill, and Wamgok, and Patrick L, and Rick, and David working tomorrow. What about us? <laughs> Topsy, son. They're, they're topsy. But, um,. Yeah, so we've got, uh, this is Simon Train's uh, Model Railways. Yes. It's, well cut, it's cut off part of his name there, you see. Simon Train's Model Railways, he's sent this message to you. It says, hello Jenny, Zoe, Topsy and Gandalf. We did get name checked, see? <laughs> um, so my offering to the Cult of Gronks is a video from Febex. The Alton Model Railway Show a few weeks ago. Thank you for the Monday Club and remember to gronk it. The gronks will destroy clickbait. Absolutely. Yay! They'll gronk all over it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, like Pac Man. <laughs> so, we won't be able to show the whole thing because it's a 15 minute video, but. Isn't that nice, Engage? I like <laughs> that. The, the amount of detail you get in Engage these days is. Just this was so sent good. in by uh, one of our viewers as well, actually. Yes, it was. So, big thank you to the very generous individual who actually sent this in. Um, so, one of my favourite models. That's uh, uh, really, really nice. I love this. Who who sent this in? That was by Zantec. That was Zantec, actually, but this. Look at really... I handed it over to you for the amount of detail. It's that lovely. That is just a, an amazing grunt. It just shows, actually, how... I mean, Engage was a bit toy-like when I first got back into model railways. But now it's just incredible. 
Yes. So, so what we've got here is Simon Trains. Oh. And he's at a bit. show. And look how nice this is. I like that. That's a. Oh, that's the Caroline um, uh, um, inspe uh, inspection thing. Welcome it's... back, 247 Trains. How are you doing? Oh, hello. Great to see you. Raymond Legg says, Gronk it up. Gronk it up. Gronk it up. Hashtag not a cult for legal and tax purposes. Gronk it up cult is not a cult for legal and tax purposes. I do Your love... marriage may vary. I do love the uh, Network Southeast livery. Really is. Oh, and uh, lovely. I think you may find on a future video at Iron Horse uh -huh. uh, some N gauge uh, intercity tra uh, carriages, coaches. Yeah, even. funny that. Because I've lent them to That's, that's quite a nice track. <laughs> so that, I'm, I'm guessing that that might have been the Cavalier. This 56. is amazing. Oh, Big Bury on Sea. This is nice. I like that street scene. That is nice. I'd yeah, love to do yeah. a street scene like that. But I you could imagine. That, uh, can I just can I yep. just say that you could imagine something like that inside a box file with a train quickly passing by, and it gives you a great opportunity to actually have uh, like a street scene as the back of the box file. Yes. So this is nice. Small shunting loco with um, that's actually is that a beetle prize cattle wagon or is it just a plain horse box? I never really tell. I'm not up in the world on GWR wagons. Oh, that's a lovely um, ploughing engine. Now um, this looks nice. Auto coach, uh, two auto coaches with a a pannier in between. A lovely grass work as well. So this is a lovely layout. Those stoneworks on those buildings in the background are very interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So really nice uh, layout. Uh, Iron Horse says there's a spinning wheel. Hey, what? Ooh. Have we... Um, we are not dropping frames and we're still at our so, um, 5 BPS. We assume that uh, Craig has got connection issues. So this is... This is the China. We talked about this Chinese layout before. It really is superb. I do love the Chinese be, one. Be, it's be, just so different. Beijo, Beijo, or something like that. Uh, it's like Beijiao or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Beijiao. But it's lovely and it's so different. I, I always say I love this layout at shows. I've seen it at a few shows and it's always a pleasure to see because it's quite different. And there's such a real presence to these big Chinese steam locomotives. Yes. Very, in, very different, very mm. interesting. I'm going to jump it on a bit because I want to see what's further on. If there's any end gauge, I like end gauge. Oh, was that? No, no, go back, go back. There was, um, oh, all oh, right, no, it's um, Meldon, Meldon, West, an end gauge. So imagine this in your box file. Yeah. So there it would be coming in from the outside world. Uh, I'm not sure how far you would get before it was going out the other side, but certainly there's a lot going on here. And, you know, this is N-Gage, but this really is lovely. Yeah, to look at it on that screen, you would not say that was N-Gage. Mm. There's so much detail. Oh, Here's Dinmore a... Junction Mother Railway says, Sorry I'm late, I'm busy painting OO Gage beehives for my layout. Well, that's oh. a worthwhile activity, actually. The beehives look quite yeah. nice. I should get some for this. What but... I would point out is when we when we looked at my uh, box Gandalf. file... Gandalf! I'm Gandalf. Is Gandalf here? A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Thanks, Thanks Gandalf. Gandalf. Yeah, we're told this is N-Gage. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it is, but it looks amazing. And it but shows how good quality N-Gage is. I'd like to point become. out that that large American hustle muscle that I've got is huge. It's bigger than it's bigger than this Amtrak one, which yeah. is bigger than the Class 20. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's 28. Class 28. It was sat on the layout when we were working out the track. Yeah, yeah. And had five coaches behind it in Engage. Yeah, yeah. Inside that box. But you can get a lot. Of, oh, yeah. Knockers Lane, so sorry to hear that. Said, lost dad last March, RIP, inherited a load of Engage. I'm so sorry to hear that, man. It's, so, it's never easy. Mm, yeah, that's and it. You have, you have our sympathies, man. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but this, this is, I think this is Engage. It's still the same uh, one. I love yeah. the detail on those rocks. Yeah, really, really love it. The track work is this beautiful. Is lovely. Right, we're going to move on now um, because it's a it's a long one. Oh, We've got to jump. On. Narrow gauge. Um, okay. Oh my god! Can I'm, I just? I like that tramway. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah, That's yeah, nice. Yeah. I want one. Um, can I just say, um, Flyway Chairman once says, "Tardis." No, it's a Porterloo. 
I think you'll find they're called the Turdis. I I need that tramway coach. That Jen, go and get one. Go, go on, go now. What mush mush? <laughs> but here we are. So this one. is oh, can I just say this is 009. So you could actually build something like this in your box file. Yeah. And this would still be compatible with the engage stuff passing yes. through on the track. Um, this. I mean, and the thing about 009 is you can actually get a lot of stuff in this small space as long as you make sure that the main line passing through big locomotives can get through quite safely. Mm. You can have branches off that are quite tightly curved. Yes. It's actually possible. I've seen the quarry hunslets from Backman in 009 able to go around a curve as tight as the inner, the inner part of it was a two pence piece, basically. Wow. Yes, it that would, is rather cool. It wouldn't pull anything at that, but it does mean you could actually have a continuous run in your box file going on, whilst you also allow um, stuff to pass on through. Now, lovely inset track work that I do mm. love that. So that's a P class. We have to move on now, though. Oh, then. I'm sorry. Okay, it, we're, it, we're moving. I, I was really enjoying this. this it, one... It's a really nice layout, but like I say. It's 15 minutes and we do have a lot to go on. That was really nice. Thank but you so really much, I really enjoyed Simon. that. So definitely, one, do check that out after the, um, yeah. the streams are over. We do have Game Hammer Classic Gaming coming up afterwards. Don't forget to tune into that. You will be given a prompt at the end of this stream to go over and join the Game Hammer Classic Gaming with Retro All Request Monday. So, is there any requests come in for tonight? Um, yeah, I've been asked to not sing again. Yep, that so... seems reasonable. <laughs> that is a request that we can certainly honour. So, we got what a... about a wrestling game? You thought about doing one of the um, the SmackDown versus Raw? You love a wrestling game. <laughs> you just you just like to see two big burly men go at each other, don't you? Yeah, and I'm also all... she likes wrestling. Yeah, uh, Francis Wadsworth says, "Okay, good night, everyone. See you all next Monday. Good night, Jenny and so." You take, take care. care. Thanks it's for been coming along. Absolutely Have a great night. Having your company and hopefully see you again. Did you bring any more cans of. No, but I will in a moment. Okay. So we got a message from Mark Wilkes. Absolutely. Also known as Zantech. So he says, on Sunday, along with Sarah Davis, I headed to Warley to see what the fuss was about. Some great layouts and very familiar guests were also there. Can you guess who? I'm expecting it was probably Doctor Who. Alright. So what have we got here? This looks rather cool. Oh, what? those um, those are the Irish Railway Models Mark IIs, I think. A new junction was in. I think he's sloped off or something. But um, what happens? I uh, like he, the I like the livery. Yeah, yeah. Um, but th they look nice. So I'm guessing mm. that uh, they may have been brought for demonstrating. Um, that looks nice. Yeah. And that's one of the things actually at Keithley show. We've got some really beautiful back scenes. Yeah. Um, nice use of, of demonstrating space. Yeah, there's not like very. You don't deep. have to fill it. Mm. You don't have to fill the area to make it look oh, no, busy. No. You, you can you can enjoy space. Mm. I like that in a layout sometimes. So oh, I oh, like that. that that's is so good. really nice. Yes, I very much enjoy. I that. love bridges, and and actually that's another thing. Um, having bridges on your layout is always, always, mm. um, I think, scenically very, very interesting. And there's some great bridges available. Gage Master uh, and there, I think it's Ford Hampton range, do some good ones. Um, ra um, is it ratio, do some various bridges. Um, Daypole, do some. There's a lot of different ready to run bridges uh, on the. Um, on the uh, on the market, so it's, it's a Jen. Show us the transport for London Class Twenty, please. Oh. There you go. See your, your commanders, our wish. Yeah, there you are. Now, now go <laughs> on. Hang on. Set, bring, could settle you, down. Could you bring it back up a second? What? Well, people need to see it. There we go. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. I don't nice. know why I'm making quacking noises. <laughs> A beautiful livery <laughs> and very generously gifted to the channel by one of our viewers, and we are yes, eternally grateful. Um, so this looks lovely. Oh. And again, look at the bridge and these low down shots with the water. There was some the harbour scenes great. actually on some of the layouts yeah. um, at uh, Keithley, and they're always beautiful. And that's another idea, maybe having a canal 
or a little harbour scene. There's lots of different things you can do. Yeah. And actually with a canal, if you're thinking, well, hold on, my track's on the bottom most layer. Canals aren't necessarily limited to being like the lowest level. You could have a canal go through at a higher level. Yes, all just you have to as... do is the, the locks. Yeah, well, not even that. You could have it going over uh, on an embankment or uh, an, an aqueduct. aqueduct. Yes. So there you go. So see you later, Wamgok. Take care. Catch you later. Knockers Lane says, anyone want an O-Gage Terrier body? I only need the chassis for my O-Gage 3D printed Gladstone. Buggles Kelly, also known as Hawthorne Leslie Loco. Cool. Uh, what livery is it, just out of curiosity? Uh, oh, Caledonian Railway Fan 1907 says, Jenny, can we see your Caledonian Locos? Um, I, th I think that... The Ooh. only one I've oh that is nice. I the like only that. one that's the, visible. The, when we get back to the, the later slightly on, dried out grass. Yeah, later on you will be able to see my Cali eight one two in its beautiful blue livery. But it's the only Caledonian Ooh. livery. These model rocks that are I've amazing. Got. These are, these are so good. Absolutely, there's some really great stuff here. Yeah. So that looks lovely. Oh, always love a turntable. Oh, table. yes, you love a turntable. And that, I think that's the date pole one. Now, that would be an interesting thing to put in the middle of a of a box file. I, um, Just one box, and you open it up, and it's a turntable. And that's about, all it is. Yeah, but what about a wagon turntable? You, you could you actually could do put, some interesting yeah, you could stuff put a with. One in that. Uh, and, I mean, that's yeah. um, something you can. They sell them ostensibly for 009, but the 009 wagon turntable, you can actually use it for N gauge. You can't run trains over it, I'll tell you that now. Certainly not powered ones, because it's all plastic. But, as an idea for making a lot of use of the space in an industrial setting, you could make use of a wagon turntable. Um, that's nice. I like really the, nice. I like this station building. It's massive. Mm. But I love it. So, um, so that's a fiddle yard. Very nice. Mm. With a gronk. Like a gronk. 247 train says bye. Well, you take care. It's been Thanks great. Thanks for coming along. Company. Have a great night. The Netherlands attending says Pim1234. Hello there. Welcome. Mm. It's good to see people from abroad, as we yeah. would say. That's so, Jen, what is that? that? Uh, what, well, the locomotive? Yes. I'm assuming it's a class 68. It's a bit difficult to tell from this angle. I'm not up on the moderny, moderny stuff. I do like that. And I've got a little suspicion. Is that Land Rover N gauge to give his forced perspective? I have a feeling that is an N-gauge Land Rover on the hillside to make it look like to it's make it look away. bigger. Yeah. And that's another thing you can try to do. If you're modelling, say, an 009, try using some N-gauge stuff as well to give it a sense of extra space and depth. Ah, would this be yes. the special guest? Yes, New Junction, you've been spotted. <laughs> So it wasn't Doctor Who, or was it? Ah, maybe it's <laughs> oh, the... Ma maybe know the, your secret. Maybe the 23rd Doctor is New Junction. <laughs> um, so, um, hold on. Um, we've got Bob Creamer says, Evening one and all, sorry I'm late. Wrong type of snow on the tracks. <gasps> A Monday clubber is never late, Toto Wagons. Nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. And B two thousand RO Toys Channel says hi Jenny and Zoe. Big hello to you, great to see you. Um over the weekend I've got my G scale Edward customer James oh, Motorblock nice. and then I've got uh, that I've modified and now I'm waiting for a G scale James tender, an extra tender chassis for one more wheel. Brilliant. And John JMC, our guru of sound, said sixty nine, yeah, and then immediately corrected himself to sixty eight, yeah. It's like, hmm, Freudian yeah. slip going on there. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for those photos, Zantek. Now we've got some photographs here from Alvin Hall. Uh -huh. He says, uh, love the show. My partner Sarah does too. Here are some of my collection. I started this layout in August last year. It's still a work in progress. Underneath is a rabbit and four guinea pigs as separate uh -huh. units who have fun watching. Let's have a look. This started so, last year. So, um... Can we make it? We might have to scroll around a bit. So there we go. Oh, I love your ash plant. That is. I know, oh, coaling cool. tower. I mean, that is. Oh my huge. goodness! And there's another idea for you. Um, if you were um get one of those in N gauge, you don't have to have everything permanently fastened into your box file. 
So you mm -hmm. could have a situation where you open up your box file and then and you have a separate click, box click. file with you, with a building stored in it that you can then stick in and give yourself a lot more extra height. Yes. Oh, uh, Knockers Lane this. says this signing off. Got to make my supper. Look, you take, take care. care. Thanks for coming along. Absolutely. I recognise this, Jenny. Don't you? Yeah, that is the Metcalf uh, Boiler House. Yeah, we were having a joke last night when we were looking through stuff. That <laughs> do you want to buy a tube? Because <laughs> uh, that's what basically the tube yeah, looks yeah, like. Yeah. But it, it is actually a really good model. Oh, this is it's lovely. A, a nice shed, a diesel refueling point, and great use of the Metcalf bridge and abutments there. Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing that with. Oh, here's a better view of the uh, the bridge. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is something special. And just scroll to the right. I'm looking for the water tower. Stop, stop, stop. I love that water tower. And it also, there is an ash plant. Look, you see to the right of the coaling tower. Yeah. There is an ash plant. Really, really nice. This is really good. And just started last year. Never too late to start. You're getting a lot in the space. That yeah. is really nice. Oh, Jen, what? what turn I'm going to guess turntable in the dark. Turntable there? with trees? Um, trees might be behind it. It's difficult, difficult to see because it's all in shadow. So this looks really nice. It really does. The height on this thing is yeah, spectacular. Yeah. I think it might be a scene craft kit, the um, a, a scene craft um, building. But they yeah. are really, really nice. They're lovely. Speaking of scene craft, oh, you nice. nicked my... You nicked my uh, see, again, windmill. really great use of the Metcalf uh, retaining walls. Yes. Perfect, really, Love really the great. Kits. They're so good. I've got loads with the stone finish, but mm. with the brick, they actually look good there with the brick. The finish. red brick stands mm. out and looks really nice. Thank you so much for sending that in. Thank you very much. So we've had a question from uh, from John JMC. Did Zoe like her present at the weekend, or did you not get it? She did, and I love it. Jenny, oh got... yes, the um, I got a, a um, Graham Farish. Um, ready to plant resin building for N gauge yeah. of uh, an engine shed. So yes, did. I did get it. I did get and, it. And uh, it's uh, it's rather rather substantial. It's good, yeah, I mean it's a lovely, lovely thing. It really is. So, um, what so, have we got next? From Clive Cobalt, we've got hi Jenny and Zoe. Here are Hello. my Cabal X Class Fifty Six Loco and Freightliner wagons. And a Cavalex BBA. These have done wagon. really, really well, actually, and it's so, good to yeah. see a brand new manufacturer uh, yeah. launching with um, a with really a great, great model. So this is the Cavalex Fifty Six. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about them. So you know, I think that this is particularly good. Oh, is that a class eighty nine or a class ninety? Difficult to tell. I do love this livery. This is the Intercity. Nice... I've yeah. always have this I not said this is the best said... livery. Why don't they keep using it or variants on it? Yeah. Why does everything have to be blue? Well, it doesn't have to be. It's I, like I British like... Ra British Rail. Uh, excuse me, uh, British like... Rail directors. I, I've got some new designs for for our liveries to really show off uh, what Britain is about. No, we want blue. Well, well, no, Intercity, Intercity. <laughs> I know, but um, you know what I'm on about. Regional it's a class railways 90, says one and network exactly. southeast. So, um, and that's a, cool. a container flat. It's got three twenty foot containers. Now, the bit in the middle that is actually, believe it or not, a container. It is with the because those steel are coils, really heavy things. <laughs> and actually, it just shows the versatility of the ISO container. I like that. Flamish M one says, "Time the fifty six has got us showing." <laughs> but so, yeah, those are really heavy things. It's not, it's not loo roll, that's steel. <laughs> I hate yeah. to say it. So, right. ooh, what have we got, uh, here? What have we got here? So again, more container wagons. Yeah, they look nice. And those coaches. Oh, sorry, I haven't, haven't I'm sorry, been I'm fine for fruit and veg. <laughs> I do it's like It's funny how you work cool. in communications and can hardly string a sentence together. I know, together. we should stop watching Jimmy Carr. Yeah, we watch it too much. Mm. These are great. Yeah. And that's the 56 again, of it? Absolutely. So, Very nice. thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for sending these in. So, these are lovely. Oh, I like the... So, we've got a few... Steel coils the side and cradles. Then, these big ones as well, mm. just on the flat. They're really good. Thank you so much for sending yeah, these in. Yeah, so thank you so much for that. So, let's go back over to uh, the Jablite cam. 
So who have we got next? Are we have we got many to go through? Yeah, fair few. So we've got uh, a what's this? Jacob Orton says that my class ninety one leaving the large station on my club's main layout at Castle Oswick. So let's have a look at this. If I copy it now. Mm -hmm. So I'm Boy, yawning because I haven't slept well. I'm not. Uh, Jen I'm... does not sleep too well at the moment because, well, I've had my sleeping pattern disrupted. I've actually. Where been... did you actually end up today? <laughs> uh, Belfast. I didn't yeah. like. Oh, I took a wrong turning and ended up in Belfast. Um, I spent the reason Got I didn't go for a, for a while. I, the reason I didn't go to the Keithley show on Saturday was last minute. I was called to do um, a job whereby I had to travel. Uh, on the overnight ferry to Belfast to then do some pootling around. And during that pootling around, around Belfast, um, I got to see the set of the all-new film, go. How to Train Your Dragon. Are you they're supposed doing a to be live telling people? No, I'm not telling them anything about the plot. I'm just saying they're filming How to Train Your Dragon, the live-action film. And I actually was on the set. Um, she was playing... What were you playing? What, the one, of the, one of the steps up toward yeah, the, one of the, the, the houses. Yeah. yeah, something like that. And then I had to catch the ferry back, and I didn't sleep well on the ferry. Oh, so that, this that's is nice. nice. That is really nice. It's a substantial mm. thing as well. Beep, beep. Oh, I like that. Look, yeah. you see they've got like, the name thing, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's really cool. Thank oh, you very much. Thank you so much, and... Um, <laughs> I like the, the one of the things that came up as your option there. <laughs> air what? up. It's a scam. It's well, a scam. Yeah. Flavoring water with air. No, thank you. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> that was obvious. Well, yeah. Oh, my goodness. We've got a lot coming over the last day or two. Yeah, well, let, let's, let's let's jibber jabber. So thank you so much, Mr. Jacob, for sending that in. That was really cool. Ooh. Um, John Nutman says, what diesel is running with the Great Western set? Right, oh, moment, that Jen. is actually, um, yeah, I was telling people what uh, was running. That's actually a Class 41 warship. Um, D600, I think it is, or 601. Um, that was a Colonel Model Center exclusive. Um, and probably one of the least successful locomotives Um that ran on British railways, um, them and um, the Class 16s are probably um, almost a footnote to um, failed diesel locomotives. North British Locomotive Company <laughs> involved in both, funny that. Um, but um, yeah, it was a Kerno Model Centre exclusive. It's an absolutely adorable model, bulletproof, reliable, really, really nice, nice and heavy. Um, but that's what it is. So if you ever wondered what the original Class 41s looked like, um, that's one of them. Um, we've also got running around a custom weathered Class 46. That is sound fitted. That's on the really, really long um, train, which has a lot of tankers on the back. Um, incidentally, the Western Region train, there are two motor rail flats on there with eight Oxford uh, uh, Oxford diecast uh, vehicles plus uh, an NEA BG on the back. I don't know, NCX, I think it is. I don't know where I got NEA from. Uh, we've also got a Rapido 15XX pannier tank with the newest releases of the um, different um, GWR diagram vans and opens that have just been released by Rapido Trains. We've got a full review on those coming out on Saturday. And then on the um, ABC shuttles, we've got, thank you very much, we've got um, a uh, Hornby uh, Gronk, we've got a Backman Class 25, and we've got a Hellion Class 27. Uh, B2000 RO Toys Channel, so hi Jenny and Zoe. Over the weekend, I've got my G-Scale Egg Custom um, I've already I read that. Yeah, I've yeah, already I read that. Yeah, I think you said that already, B2000. Yeah, already read that. Jay it's Paul great Anderson, to hear, though. Uh, J. Paul Anderson says, very sad what happened to North British Loco Company, as well as Bayer Peacocks. Yeah, unfortunately, um, Britain's uh, railway locomotive builders were very much geared up towards building steam locomotives. And when the change came to alternative modes of uh, power, in terms of electric and in terms of diesel... Um, there was, 
a lack of innovation to some degree in that they were building uh, a lot. Some of the people like um, uh, North British would build a diesel locomotive in the same style that they would build a steam locomotive. So massively over-engineered, which left them overweight. They had issues with they were building MAN engines under license. Um, but didn't quite understand the metric system. So um, I think there was huge issues with tolerances. Uh, and basically the British locomotive building industry um, weren't really effective at changing over to the new method of um, building stuff. So up next we've got from Mark Edwards. Uh, Hi Jenny, I just watched part 10 of your garden railway build. Oh, brilliant. Can you read the rest? Um, and I'm absolutely loving it. Have you thought about adding a water feature? I have actually, yeah. A stream would look amazing running down the valley oh. and under the bridges at the front. Yeah. I've attached some photos of my stream I put in 18 months ago in my garden. I'm really looking forward to seeing how your project develops. Regards, oh. Mark. Well, um, For a second there, I thought I was going to sneeze. Oh. That's why I asked you to read it. Um, I, I've got another part of the garden, garden railway build, all filmed. I need to edit it, actually. Um, so it should be coming. And Mel says, I am having coffee in my Monday Club milk. Uh, Yay. mug. Excellent. And don't forget, you too can get your Monday Club mugs. Choice of different designs, all available from the merch store down below. Now that is the water feature. Oh, I do like that. Oh, I like, look at the, they've got the Pico Tunnel Mouse there being used as a bridge. Yeah. So can we, can we zoom in? I, I, I want to take a closer look. Oh, that is that nicely looks really, done. Really good. Really nice. And look, now you can see the track bed to the left. Yeah. This is nice. Next yes, slide, please. Again, I love yeah. these bridges. So we got. Oh, this is really nice. I'm really impressed. This is. Abs oh, this is like, okay. I love that girder bridge. This is just showing off. <laughs> they're, they're the, are they the Hornby Double O bridge sides? They're really nicely done. Yeah, they are. I like those pillars as well. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, look, you can see like a nice viaduct in the background as yeah. well. That's really nice. This is lovely. And oh. there's the actual uh, groundwork for the. Really nicely ballasted. That it looks really. Oh, that puts mine to shame. I'll be honest. He's, he's, got, he's gone out of his way to make that look fantastic. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Really nicely done. Is there another slide? Or is that. Oh, that's the end. That's the so, final one. But, thank you. Wow, what a one wow. to end on. That is brilliant. I, I love that. Yeah, that is very nice. Mm. So, um. All that water. Thank you it so looked like much. it was real. It was amazing. Yeah, real water. Funny that. So, this is from uh, Chip Rockwell. It says, Hello, Zoe. Oh, this one's a personal one. Ah, right. Because so, it's, not from, it's not from him. Right. So, so I will look at that later. Sorry about our that. Our mistake. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chip, for sending that in. I will look at that later. No worries. Right. So what's next? So in that case, we move on to uh, from Matt Harris. He says, uh, new, new subscriber. subscriber to the channel and enjoying the backdated content. Excellent. Fantastic. Glad you uh, so, here. So thought I'd share these with you. My newest hobby is repainting old Lima Shunter models. Oh, nice. I've not long finished the first 15 and now starting on the next 15. Would love some suggestions for liveries from you and your subscribers and your thoughts on the ones I've already done. If you'd like to see more, I'd be happy to send them, but I don't want to bombard you. Oh, don't worry about it. We've also done a few buildings with scratch-built interiors. Oh, Many like thanks. I'm looking interior. forward to see what comes next from the channel from Matt. Uh, P.S. Here's a list of modifications to the shunters, which run surprisingly well. Once thoroughly serviced. Separately fitted handrails applied, replaced moulded buffers with real, real buffers from rusty rails, full repaint, extra weight, NEM couplings and pockets added. Um, uh, Scratch-built painted interiors with separately fitted throttle, throttles. Driver wow. added, weathered, etched nameplates and rail tech decals and window glazing. That's so, that's a lot. Oh, oh my god. Oh my word. Oh. So this oh wow, oh colour me a shade of <laughs> incredibly <laughs> impressed. That is incredible. So that that I'm guessing that's like the dock shunter, which was it used to be quite a um quite a toy like model, but that has Not transformed anymore. it. I love the wasp stripes, they are so crisp. 
So let's have a look at the next next slide. Please. These are just These phenomenal. Are oh, oh my goodness! Wow. Look at that. So this is an old Lima model. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> this is just oh. That has come out amazing. <laughs> this isn't a, a model. This is a work of art. This is so well done. Absolutely. This is just, oh my God. Look at the detailing that is highlighted and everything. Yeah, that's come together really nice. So next slide, please. Those buffers do look good. Yeah, next slide. All oh, right, Ooh. so that's a, a BR liveried version. Oh, what tops number has he gone with? It might be out of focus. Class 10. 10, 2, 7, 9. Interesting choice, but look at that. And so that's yeah. a Lima model, but the detail on that it's got was that the original still... molded detail, or has he added a lot of that in? Because that is really, really it's good. phenomenal. And the weathering really is nicely done. Yeah, next slide, please. These are just again, that's the same. So, so good. Class 10. See, I can't would... quite see where it says that. Yeah, class 10. Sophie. No, I thought you wanted the tops. No, I want the tops number. The oh, data okay. panel would probably be a class ten data panel. Very uh, cool. That Very is, cool. That is incredible. Nice big window as well. You can really the see it. The glazing's really worked well. Right, next slide. B oh, that is nice with the BP livery. Oh, that is nice. I like the handrails at the front as well. Yeah. That actually works really well in that livery. Yes, that is quite. Quite See, suggestions good. for alternative. I don't know what the next one's livery is, but um, that's inside of one of the buildings. Oh, wow! In terms oh of livery, op um, livery suggestions for future liveries, I would suggest regional railways, network southeast, intercity, um, but also um, NCB light green, uh, NCB yellow. Uh, British Steel Blue, um, what else? This is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, so that's what, that's what they're inside. That is really nice. You can see the guy. Oh wow. <sighs> the, these are impressive. So next that slide. That is so good. Oh there wow. There the bar. That works so well. We've got the menu. That is incredible attention to detail. Yeah, and the, the railings on the back. Not railings, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. So this is uh, Transrail. Nice. That is so good. These have come out really well. Yeah. And the, 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 the slimline tension lock couplings really do improve the look of these no end. That is so good. So that is really nicely finished as well. You have a steady hand, sir. Very steady hand. Even got the high vis stripes on the vest. Yeah, yeah. So period correct um, safety equipment on the drivers. Next slide. Longmore Military Railway. Hey, that that actually does look really good. That's a nice uh, one. Yeah. Wow. This is, this. I mean, it just shows what um, you can do with old models. Yeah, if you're prepared to put the time and effort in. This is actually something that Iron Horse said on one of his, uh, I think it was his last video from last week, where he was saying, if uh, if you don't want to go for the latest stuff, uh, maybe it's too expensive or yeah, yeah, yeah. you just want to make use of what you've already got, enhancing your own stuff with custom modded extras like the handrails and extra etched coverings and all that mm. is such a good idea. And this shows it off. What you can do with the time and effort. This is so good. Thank Absolutely. you so much for sending those in. Absolutely. That was just wow. So thank you so much for that. Oh, we've lost it. There it is. Thanks, man. I've got a splinter and it's really annoying me. Do you want, do you want me to get some sandpaper? No, I can see. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for sending those in, Matt. That was, that was just wow. Would you pass me? The tweezers, not the the stupid. Yeah, that 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 one. You want the tweezers? Yeah, give 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 give. Don't there you go. Have some tweezers. Right. Do you want to just? Um... I will, but I'm a bit worried about you because um they don't look clean and you're sticking them into your hand. So Andrew McDonald has sent in uh, sorry March West Junction. He says, uh, "Hope you're both well, Jenny and Zoe. Please see attached a video trailer that I've created for a bit of fun. If you're into superheroes." Then I think you'll like this. <laughs> that's okay. Your, that's your wheelhouse, sir. <laughs> so it must it? admit, it's better with the sound on, but we can't really hear the sound in here anyway. Unfortunately, we but, can't play it with the sound. 
We'll see how it goes. So we, that's we, we an can't advert. Play with sound. I thought for a second you had really high production quality. <laughs> that's an advert as well. I'll get through this in a moment. How many of these adverts are going to be unskippable? Um, all of them. There's a one that's skippable. So we're going to now try this and see what we got. I think I've got it. Okay. Uh, for those of you who are uh, able to watch with sound, I will add this in. Here we go. That's the that's the link. So let's do this. March West Junction TMD presents. Oh wow! Oh, I like the 009. Small town with a large in a world where <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Bam! Crack! Pow! <laughs> oh, this is a this is a channel trailer. I like nice. how you've done this. This is actually yeah. A good this idea. is really good. Yes. Um, really good, good idea. We we should do uh, a channel trailer at some point. Yeah, I think we'll. Wow, that back scene is amazing. Mm. Not just the photographic bit, but the fact that his buildings are coming out of it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it it kind of flows. That's really good. <laughs> this is so well done. Mm. Oh, I like that. Really, really good. So that was so well done. Thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> thank you. That was fantastic. I well. really like that. Flyma Chevin one, you having a little bit of a, a dig at us there? What? <laughs> when I was saying that the, the adverts are unskippable in the start, <laughs> to which he said, and you've got insurance adverts in the middle. But yes, we've got to pay the bills, my dear. <laughs> and it has to be said that it is um, always advisable to insure your collections. So. Yeah. We're just uh, letting people know what's available. Sorry, I've, I've got Splinter in it. It's really yeah, bloody annoying. Yeah, don't worry about it. Iron Horse actually has a very good point there. You can no longer choose if your adverts are skippable or not. I used to always choose skippable, but now we can't offer that option. Yeah, we all used to choose skippable. That's why they took it away. Because <laughs> the unskippable ones pay more than YouTube. <laughs> so we got from... Uh, who am I looking at? Warbler Productions, yes. Sorry, I, I lost my train of thought there. From Warbler Productions, we have Hello Ladies and Topsy. I'm sending a link to my most recent mainline Steam video, which features a Black Five heading southbound through Atherston Ooh, it's Station. it's very topical. Yeah. So this will be nice. I do like that March West uh, train. Up. We're going to do something similar, but mm. I'm going to do it in the style of like old... Uh, Kung Fu film uh, trailers. <laughs> so when you're speaking, I'll put the the um, sound slightly off. <laughs> so you'll start speaking before your mouth moves. That kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to have me speaking a foreign language and then have me... Well, as if I'm speaking a foreign language, but then dubbed by somebody who has a grossly uh, inappropriate voice for the person, the character. Okay, well, uh, try this one. Uh, try... Remember, the, the big hulking guys would always have a really high-pitched, squeaky voice. Yes, and the little girls would be spoken uh, as if they'd smoked 50 a day since childbirth. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you try this then. Go on. Uh, just, uh, just pretend to be speaking. In a world where... <laughs> Butts are being transported in packets. One man says, no, that's a silly thing. <laughs> okay, right, let's, let's stop being... <laughs> oh, 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 Zantec has a good idea, so why not do it in a Pathé News style? Hey, it's a good show, six of the best, pants down. <laughs> That's right, we're going to be reviewing things on this channel. Oh, jolly good show, boys and girls. <laughs> Oh, GWR Buckley Junction says evening all, implying a huge degree of lateness. Oh, here comes Monday Gandalf. Monday Clubber is never late, Toto Wagons, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. Thanks, Gandalf. <laughs> J. Pedro Rocha says hello, Gandalf. <laughs> you knew you were late. <laughs> um, <laughs> Iron Horse <laughs> Railway says, in a world where butts are being sniffed. 
Jenny will be there. No! Uh, excuse <laughs> me. She will be protesting with a sign that says, Down with this kind of thing. Yes, yeah, careful now. <laughs> and unfortunately, it will be misread. As if she's down with this kind of thing. No. Is that a dusty bin? Three, two, one. Or something else. I don't know. These modern things, they all look the same to me. Look at the reflection Might on be that. A th- I think that actually that's a 350. Seriously, look. Look at the reflection on that train. Yeah, modern things can be quite shiny. Yeah, everyone that says that uh, modern uh, models mm. are too shiny. Look at this and tell yeah. me that's, uh, that's, not, that's too shiny. Is this where there's a steam train passing down the centre roads and you're sat there going, No! Get out of the way! <laughs> That's a long train. That's actually longer than the platform. Because yeah. there's some that were sticking out the back. That must have been a boo boo. If you that was your stop. And yeah, imagine you're, that. And you're like, oh, you're supposed to stop I, at the platform. Oftentimes these days they'll say, but those are lighting Class at X, Y, and Z. Try and get in the yeah. middle. That was iron horse. The sniffer or the sniffy yes. in Russia. Bottom sniff you. <laughs> Look out for the German dubbed episodes of Deep Space Nine. Wharf sounds squeaky. We have to. Tr- we've got the DVDs. Do you think the dubs that, are on? There? We'll have a look and see what uh, um, sound options they've got. These trains are incredibly shiny. So anyone who says that uh, modern models yeah, yeah, are too yeah. shiny hasn't seen these trains. Uh, go for it, painted me. Hello, James Spinks. Uh, rail is it a three fifty? Yeah. So my second guess was correct. If it correct. tilts any more, it's going to fall over. <laughs> no, that, that's canted track. It's a joke. Oh, I'm sorry. Joke. Here Attempt we go. Funny. Beep beep. A two, two. I know if that's not stopping, why is it not on one of the centre roads? Because uh, it hates you. It I mean, I'm not complaining. On other people. I'm not yeah, complaining, maybe. but you would have thought non-stop trains would go through the centre roads. Mm. That was cool. Mm, and yeah, Russell, I know they they do have selective door opening. I think they 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 have a kind of sensor that detects whether there's a platform there or not, which can be overridden, but. Uh, but yeah, no, this is nice. So yeah. Black Five, this is what uh, did the review on Wednesday on. This so, is the Ellis. Shockingly popular. What the hell? It's just. That, I decided not to go. That was just weird, wasn't it? Yeah. That was really cool. Thank you so much, Wobbler, for sending that in. What was going on there, Jan? I don't know, but I'm going to stop it in case it's getting warm. I don't want to proper decoder. So I'm just going to, um, let's see, the headlights are still on. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, just in case it's got hot, I'm going to uh, leave that one be. 57305 Northern Princess says, hi all. I'm late as I've been in heaven, also known as Cadbury World. Oh. Well, well, Gandalf would approve. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf is currently in his, his, his special mind palace thinking about that. A Monday clubber is never late to the wagon. I could really go for some chocolate, no, actually. No, they, they arrive precisely when they need to. I don't know, could you, could you go for some chocolate? Oh, yes, I could. Mm. Well, go on, then. I've got a show to do, Jen. I can't just go away. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, well, no chocolate. You'll have to go. No... Hey, I cooked dinner and I bought dinner yesterday. I ate so, dinner. And so you have to go for the chocolate chocolate No, I'm not going so we've now. Got a, we've uh-huh. got something coming up here from Richard Swiderski. He says, uh, hi, Jenny, Zoe, and Topsy Toaster. Oh, no Gandalf. Topsy. Oh, I know when I'm not wanted. Yeah, go and get some, go and get some chocolate, Gandalf. I'd eat it, yes. Bye. Wait, hey, no, wait a minute, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Jenny, Zoe, and Topsy Toaster. Hope you're all well. A video of the new mill and District Model Railway Exhibition on the 24th of February. So let's have a look. Okay. And this one's a long one, so of course uh, do... We uh, will chop and change through it. Let's... Uh, yeah. So let, let's make this full size. Yeah. And so, then, are yeah. we ready? Yes. Let's go for it. So, oh, look, Model Railway Exhibition this way. Ooh! Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is nice. A lovely colour. That's sort of like light brown. It's the, the um, London Brightness South Coast Burnt Umber. Really That's like. nice. Double and O again, gauge. Very right, nice. It brings us back to today's topic that you don't need a lot of space for a great layout. Yeah. And, you know, you could imagine this being eminently portable. Ooh. 
There's a lot of bright colour. I like this. A lot going on. I like the platform lighting. So we've got, we've got uh, well, the welders seem to be a thing that I see it on loads of layouts. I, I need to get a welder here, actually. Abbotsford so, in Engid. Oh, this is lovely. Look at that. You I've got get, that church. Yeah, you can get a lot in the space in yeah. Engage. I built that church over the weekend, the one that was on that uh, a hill. Yeah. A very good church. I liked it. Mm. It was a good one, a fun build. I'm going to, for the next one, I'm going to, to be building the um, brewery. Yeah. Richard Swiderski says, thank you for showing my video. You're absolutely You're welcome. welcome. Thank you for sending it in. Mm. This is really nice. Nice station there, no, not station, you know, train, uh, yeah. train house. Smethers <laughs> Junction, double O gauge, immediately impressed by the trees. Yeah, those trees are good. Yeah. Oh, I, that's an interesting thing. Oh, there's railhead treatment um, train. It's for cleaning the, um, like, uh, leaves off the line. Oh, imagine that as one of your track cleaners. That would yeah, be yeah, so yeah. cool. <laughs> Main line blue. Actually, that livery does grow on me, actually, for 37. I like the purple stripe on it as well. Mm. I do have a shark um, ballast plow in that livery. It, it, it is actually growing on me. I think I've got mm. a couple of HE hoppers. <laughs> Someone was here, there, on the graffiti. Oh, yeah. I've got one that says Jenny was here. Yeah. <laughs> I think you see it in the, um, the TMC advert. Yeah. Oh, I do like that. And this is a, I've seen this on a lot of layouts, and it really works well. Where you've got like buildings in the foreground that you kind of have to peer around to view the model, and it's a really great effect. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is really, mm. really interesting. So I like the bright colours. Very, as well. very lighting. much more modern than I than I personally model. But you know, it's really well done. I like that very steep slope that he had there. TT. TT. Oh, look at the amount of stuff you can get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those houses are fantastic. Mm. I think I recognise Yeah, that we know Iron house. Horse Railways that you love shunting. You came around and you're like, I want to shunt on your own gauge garden railway. And it's like, oh, no, yeah. it's not really designed for it. But <laughs> no, show, I'll shout the instructions and you do it and oh, this will be fun. And it was all right. Yeah, he enjoyed himself. So, this um, is so I like this shunting puzzle that was setting up on the, the box file as well. That's yeah, yeah, cool. shunting puzzles can be pretty good. This is Oh, nice. I like that War Department livery J94 stroke. I like the texture on those roofs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so good. So, I missed a bit that told us what the layout is, but I'm, I'm assuming like, like Longmore Military or something like that. I don't like know. That. Oh, Operation Overlord. This is very cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. And a lot more of these sort of army, military themed ones. Yeah. Um, I see more and more of them, and I think they are really, really good. Is that an N class or is it a uh, what? Which what class? No, that's not. That's a Lord Nelson, I think. Don't know. Oh, ambulance train. Hmm. Yeah. This is lovely. Somebody's got jittery track. <laughs> Bagnall Locomotive Group stand. Nice. Uh, I was going to say nice helicopter. Oh, nice, nice windmill. 009. <laughs> a little bit of 009 there. Yeah, really nice. That's an interesting uh, layout as well. Two levels for a quarry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another well, one where, you, where it's a nice yeah. idea for. Hexen oh, Schmelspurg. I like that. He's used the uh, tunnel as a way of putting a different street in the background without actually mm. having to have the street. G gauge. It's really weird because. What is that big, tower? Yeah, um, I don't know. G gauge. Oh, that is a lovely locomotive. Is that, that a Malay? Is special. So there are, I think that's a Malay. Uh, or is it a double? F I know. I think it's a Malay. But um, G scale stuff is designed to go around much tighter curves than O gauge. <laughs> you wouldn't get O gauge getting around a curve that tight. But I, I love this stuff. It's yeah. perfect for the garden. But it's always nice to see it done as an indoorsy layout with yeah. full scenery. So that is really, really nice. Now, Thank this is so much it's for a long in. It video. is, so we're going to have to drop that. And so, back yeah, to just one. at the point where the advert... Yeah. Why, why is that? Because I, I pressed a button, and then you pressed a button, and you confused you it. You pressed the wrong button. That oh, was so good, though. Thank you so, so thank much, thank you so Richard. much. There is a full video on that's about 15 yep. minutes long. I've, I've dropped it into the chat, so that uh -huh. was wonderful. Right, we've got a few minutes left. So before we go any further, Jen, do we have a sponsor? Uh, yeah. 
The Monday Club is proudly sponsored by TMC, The Model Centre. Check them out at themodelcentre.com. The website features extensive stocks of new models as well as selective pre-owned items where you can track down that bargain you've always wanted. Pre-order with confidence all of the forthcoming models from all the manufacturers. TMC also offer a renumbering and renaming service so you can get the exact identity of locomotive that you want. Why also check out their value weathering or go for something incredibly special with their bespoke service where you can choose from a more extensive weathered look right through to custom graffiti either off the peg or to a design of your choice. Check out TMC today at themodelcentre.com and start your model journey. So what have we got up next, Jen? Um, so I don't know if you bring it up. Hello, Jenny and Topsy Toaster. Topsy is excited. Yes, he is. For your delectation and consideration for showing on the Monday Club, this is the first of three short videos of some new samples on display at Model Rail Scotland. So this is from Peter Jackson uh, at Sheetle Heath? Yeah, Hornby samples. Okay. I just, I, I, it was a shame I wasn't able to get to um, to Model Rail Scotland. Yeah. Just one of those things. Ready? So let's going to bring this up. So I'm really okay. looking forward. What is to... that? There's locomotion on the top. No, 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 no. What is that? That's Cause... lion. Because it... oh, it's not a livery. That's that's the lion. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But that looks really. That nice. does look good. I'm really looking forward to that actually. Um, but also we're getting the mail coach is finally available separately. Queen Adelaide's coach. Um, and that other one as well. Now that's interesting. Uh, the B174, I think that is. A really weird looking locomotive. But it I looks really like quite... a sawn off mallard. Uh, yeah, a sawn off A4. I actually quite like it. And um, those, oh, it's the one of the Ruston 88 DSs. Nice. The TTAs look amazing, actually. Is that a new Deltic? Uh, yeah, they're doing a Hornby Double O Deltic. Nice. Now that model, I believe, has just been released. The uh, streamlined blue one. And look, the there's, racing stripes. there's my favourite livery. Yes, that favorite is livery. so well done. People Absolute. actually complained about the fidelity of the image. And it's like, oh, like what? What did they want? A free gold bar with it? I was, I was shocked that people were going to complain. Yeah. When we've not been able to have that technology. That's interesting. Oh, this is the flirt. Now it's an interesting thing. That little tiny module is something to do with running on, I can't remember whether it's, um, they're designed for a certain thing, but that's a temporary thing that goes in until they've right. upgraded the infrastructure, from what I remember. Okay. Now that, the beaver tail observation car, really interesting. I do like the look of these. Um, there's so many great new models coming through, and these Hornby models... There's a lot going on. I mean, and really also is. they are catering for the modern uh, modeler, which of course you have to do because yeah. oh yeah 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 people want to, but well, not certainly just people that. like me want to model what not they see. Just that, um, they also do the Railroad Plus range, which I think is really great for getting new people into the hobby. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, this is so cool. These are the TT one twenties. Um, Michael Whoa. Richard Knowles says they call it a power pod. Um, it's a really interesting design, actually. Really interesting. So these are <laughs> D two. Yeah, they look great. Mm. They really TD one twenty. I have to say, if TT one twenty had come out after, sorry, before I'd started investing in Engage, I might have gone down that route. Yeah, totally agree. This is really nice. The TTA tankers do look good. Um, is that the Britannia? Ooh, Britannia. With marmalade and jam. I want to sing the rest. Uh, so I'm getting hiccups <laughs> and like Pepsi. To the max. Yes, to the max. Are they the TT120 still? I don't know, but they're very nice. I do like intercity livery. I think they are. Look at the couplings. I mm. can't see the couplings. They are nice. And then these are the ready built Ready built build, build. Oh, okay. Now, this now, is this a great is, development. This is a game changer. Because as and much as I... the little layout. As much as I love building stuff, which I do, I'll do that all day long, I'm not everyone. Some mm -hmm. people want some uh, ready to plonk down buildings to get them set off. Mm. That is a great move. That is so good. Oh, the flying money pit. <laughs> 
So those Pullmans, though, really nice. Look, with proper light-up lights here yeah. as well. So well done. Yeah, I'm really liking this. Mm. Thank you so much for sending that in. That was fantastic. Thank That's you. Brilliant. Thank you so, so much. Well, I, I couldn't find the mouse there to press yeah. all the buttons. Let me just move the oil train out of the way, see if it... I don't know whether it just got hot or dirty wheels or something, but it just suddenly started doing weird things. Okay, I think we have time for... Ooh, what have we got here for some photos? So, um, Mark Wilson has been firing up his DeLorean again. Oh, 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 oh my word! <laughs> yeah, um, this is not a photo of the real thing. This is a model. And what a model. That is phenomenal. That is incredible. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is just so... I, I literally stood where this has been taken. Mm. Oh my goodness. And it's, it's just incredible that these are so well done that you can just recognise the location yeah. immediately. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Good night, Rick Morley. It's been great having your company. CP Model Railway says the, the dragons on the GWR Green Class 43 and TT120 should be golden to represent the late delivery. They were white before Durant won the Tour de France and then the livery was changed. Right. So that what we've good. got here is a couple of guys having a chat and Davros is making an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. Yes, you do. Oh, this is so it's good. It's the attention to detail. It really is. It's incredible. Oh so, man, mm, so good! This is absolutely amazing to end on. And so, the framing device of uh, taking the for, picture taking it through, through the, the doorway. The door. yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's just incredible, absolutely incredible. Oh. <coughs> oh, that reminds me, guys. Something I'm planning. We've got these departure boards here. Yes. Um, I'm planning a range that you can just download and print out if you've got a gold printer. In O double O N. And probably TT120 as well, my, my uh -huh. if I'm scared. For things that you can just download and print out and put onto your own departure boards, such as uh, the, like butts farting the, butts the 2101 service to Weir Yard. <laughs> calling <laughs> so, at. <laughs> so, yeah, calling at all these different places. Yeah. Anyway, I think that would be but, a nice move. But anyway, right, um, do we have another one? We'll just very quickly get through. Oh, 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 oh Network oh. Southeast Shunter. I need, I need. It's a network southeast shunter. I don't have that livery. This that is, is just, quite nice. But the attention just, to detail. Look and at look, all this. Oh and my look goodness. at the way the wires hang. It's perfect. Yeah. Damn it. Stop, stop taunting us with your with your DeLorean infused pictures. This is just so good. I, I'm speechless uh, yeah, to, to, to just, explain it, some of this. Mark Wilson is the most incredible modeler. Yeah. Uh, by far, it's just incredible. There is, you know, I've not seen a modeler come close to this incredible <laughs> levels of detail. Oh, oh, that is when, oh my god! It's wonderful, absolutely. And then wonderful. you see the, the and Mark Wilson. You're absolutely welcome. Thank you windows, for yeah. showing them with us. I love the little flowers between the hydraulic buffers as well. Yeah. And it's just incredible. Absolutely it really is. incredible. It feels like I could just wander in and get on that train. I can smell the diesel. Yeah. And hear the echoey tannoy. Yes. The train now departing is the one that you wanted. Ha ha! Hurry, spurs and stop! You could use small digital photo frames for departure bot. You could. You could you, the type of thing that you would find mm. in one of those cheap knockoff Apple watches. You could put them in. I, I've seen people do all sorts of amazing things with stuff like that, mm. but these are incredible. So, oh, and and it's there's more. It just keeps going, and the light is fantastic. Yeah, I'm really jealous. I like that network southeast Gronk. So well done. Is that Eagle? Uh, I think Backman did did the model. That Eagle, yeah, that's Eagle. I know that <laughs> model. Has it landed? <laughs> that Eagle has landed. Oh. They, dude, this is just ridiculous. It is incredible. Is. Thank you so much for sending these in. Absolutely. So, um, thank you so much. <laughs> it's been great having your company. It really now, has. don't forget that your live streaming experience will continue uh, with Game Hammer Classic Gaming, which will be uh, what, what game are you playing? Whatever people ask for. It's the total request evening. 
a SmackDown versus Raw. You pick. You pick okay. the uh, the year. Um, so thank you so much for your company. It's been absolutely an honour to hang out with you again this Monday night. Don't forget to look out for our videos this week. We've got quite a few reviews coming through. So many new products. So we've got a delve into the bargain sales at TMC The Model Centre. Looking at the Batman Class 90 models, which are available for down to, I think it's £137.97. An incredible price for an incredible model. So we're going to be doing that review on Wednesday. Friday's video is the Rapido New Wagon Roundup video. And this is the five new wagons that you've probably seen flinting, fleeting glimpses of as it goes round. This is the GWR Banana Van. Um, the Banana Man? The Vacuum Brakes, Five Plank Opens, uh, um, and the Unbraked versions. And then also... Braked and unbraked uh, ventilated vans, the Mink A's. So that's coming on Friday. And uh, we have another review for the Wednesday afterwards. We're going to be reviewing the Hellion 10800 uh, North British demonstration locomotive as well. I've also got, I've got so many videos stacking up. We've been do so, so busy. I've got a um, Can We Make It Fit HM7000 decoder fit for the Backman 8-pin uh, class 20. Now the class 20 profiles come out from uh, Hornby. Really, really good. One of my favourites was certainly my favourite in the TTS range. See you later. And I I've do a, a demonstration on how that can be fitted without any modification required into a Batman 8-pin chassis class 20. Um, if it will fit in that, it will fit in the 20 pin, 21 pin uh, one. So that's coming up. I've got another update on the garden rail. We're showing you how to add your own check rails. Uh, to improve running and this is particularly useful on O gauge which is not very forgiving about tight corners so um, that's I think it's part 11 of the O gauge garden railway build I've also got a video on the Keithy model rail show that's going to be going out soon for patrons and channel members it will be in the buffer so you probably see it in about three or four weeks time uh, for regular viewers but if you want to see it earlier, then become either a patron or a channel member and you will get to see that early. Um, also got a bargain hunt video by popular request doing one of those again. I've got that film. Actually, I've just edited that. That is up, but it's getting pushed back with so many things coming through. And I'm looking to also be doing some Project 009 Part 2. It's time that Munnath Tatters got replaced. I've had no takers, no serious takers to buy it. So... Um, it will probably get broken up to provide the space for me to actually build um, a Minith, sorry, Tatus Neweth, which will be a much improved 009 minimum space um, a layout, which I can take to shows. And I'm hoping to start doing that over this year. But until next time, it's been great having your company. Thank you for watching. You take great care of yourself. And bye for now. Yeah, but it's... Yeah. It's caught on my fingers. <laughs>
and a clobber is never late, Toto Wackens, nor are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. The free now departing is the 2101 service to Weir Yard, stopping at Grove Street Yard, Minnes Tattis, Tattis Newis, Eindhoven, Somehow, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, and then on to the unknown clouds before finally arriving at Weir Yard. That's the 2101 service to Weir Yard.
So the Cupboard Monkey is about to go live, so uh, your live streaming experience will continue if you uh, wish it to. Just click the button when prompted and you'll be automatically taken over to the Game Hammer Classic Gaming Live All Request Monday night. Uh, thank you very much Flymo Chairman One uh, for saying the tops video was very good, total operation processing system. Computer system for managing low, railway locomotives for rolling stock known for many years of use in the United Kingdom, although developed in the US. So, um, from all of us here at Weir Yard, thank you so much for uh, watching. It's always an absolute honour to have your company for Monday nights. And remember that the Monday Club is your online model railway. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video to social media, and if you're not already done so, then do please subscribe and ring that notification bell. It's absolutely free. But uh, from me here, you take great care of yourself. Happy modelling. Bye for now.